Many people these days are in blended families, you know, step families, you're remarried, somebody had kids, and now you are one happy family, sometimes not so happy, sometimes lots of drama, lots of problems. In fact, a lot of blended families don't last long because of all the problems. Well, with us tonight is Emily Bouchard. She's a blended family expert, a stepmom herself, and the author of the ebook Conquering Conflict, an Effective Technique for Resolving Blended Family Conflicts. Emily, welcome to the show. Thanks. Great to be here. Great to have you here for Lifeline. This is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to open up the phone lines, let people call you and ask their questions because, you know, there's just so many different possible variations of dilemmas to even begin to think of. And people always surprise me, too, with the thing. You know, I I hear some problems. I'm like, I've just never heard that one before. (laughs) What are the most amazing? Yeah. What are the most common problems that blended families run into? Oh, great question. And um, it's Gosh, after working with so many people in um, similar situations but with unique uh, particular makeups in their mm-hmm. families, I found that they encounter things around uh, navigating p- parenting differences where, you know, yours are treated one way, mine are treated another, or how we uh, interact together around parenting. I'll say one thing, then the kids will play off of this and get you to say something else. Mm-hmm. And so that's a big one. And then the other one is a lot of frustration with the uh, – the other uh, parents in the picture, the exes, the yeah. former spouses, the uh, the families that the kids are with the other part mm-hmm. of the time yeah. and how that works. And then also just the coordination, the logistics around who's where, when, mm-hmm. um, communication breakdowns around that, mm-hmm. a lot of frustration around that. And those are things we can give people great tools for and skills that make a huge difference and yeah. make it turn from being frustrating to being more enjoyable. Oh, that's great. Because this really is just such a, a huge problem for so many families. My sister is in a blended family. Um, she was married once before, had two kids, remarried a man who had no kids and had never been married, but then they had two kids together. And, um, you know, her oldest two kids who have a different dad, they have so many, first of all, they had problems with them not listening to her new husband. You mm-hmm. know, they were kind of like, you're not my dad. And then once they got over that, cause she pretty much put her foot down on that and said, yep. yeah, but while you're here, I don't care if he's your dad, he's an authoritative, you know, he's a, a authoritarian a figure or whatever. So you have to listen to him. Um, and then when they, they got used to that, and that was fine, and he's not like a bossy, he's actually kind of a laid back, real, <laughs> real mellow guy anyway. But um, then when they got over that, the, the problem was really her ex and dealing with the issues of, you know, he remarried and then his new wife had kids and then they had kids together as well. And it was just this, the battle of how are the kids going to be raised because they'd go yeah. back and forth. Yeah, welcome to the world of blended families. And, you know, it's interesting. It's He's an authority in their lives. He's You know, it's like whether you like the fact that somebody's there, whether you have loyalties with another parent, it's really about, hey, people need to be treated with a level of respect. We treat people the way we want to be treated. Mm-hmm. You can not be happy about it, but you can still express it in a way that's respectful, and we can all get along here as best we can. Now, what yeah. is your um, feeling on that? Because we had a woman call into the show a few days ago, and her problem is that her – She's in a relationship with a man who has kids, and he wouldn't really allow her to be in the kids' lives much at all. I mean, clearly they were in her life and she was in their life, but he wouldn't let her be an authority. I, I mean, what's your, what's your take on the step-parent and being an authority? Yeah, it's such a great question, and it, it runs the gamut, and I, I definitely meet people right where they are, and the first thing I would want to do with that couple is find out, wow, what's his concern? What has him think that that needs to be that way and only that way? Mm-hmm. And one of the things I do a lot with couples in this situation is, look, you're both beginners at it. Nobody's ever done this before in this situation, in this mix, and to come out of thinking you know what's the right way to do it isn't necessarily going to open up possibilities for what's the right mm-hmm. mix for this situation. And so I, I kind of have people meet each other there and look at, well, wait, what are our goals? What did we want to happen when we got together? What did we see are the possibilities? And then how do we create the kind of family unit that works for us? Mm-hmm. And in a situation like that, it's like, well, if I'm with the kids and they're not listening. What are my options? What, mm-hmm. what are the parameters that can work that are going to really help the kids thrive mm-hmm. and make it so that I can tolerate this situation? You know, so it's like a both and where you can kind of meet with all the concerns that are there. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it just seems like such a big problem. I mean, sometimes the step parent is too much of an authority. Sometimes they're not an authority at all. 
And it just, that's, I think, a huge problem in blended families. Definitely. We have Emily Bouchard on the line with us. She's a blended family expert, also the founder of blended families.com. Grab her ebook, Conquering Conflict and Effective Technique for Resolving Blended Family Conflicts, at her website. But we're going to open up the phone lines. Are you in a blended family? You have uh, any dilemmas, things going wrong in the situation? Call Emily, ask for some advice. The number is 888 9 Call Kim. Ridding the world of relationship dilemmas one caller at a time. This is your time with Kim Iverson. 